Welcome to another episode of Stocks to Watch, where we have exclusive conversations with company leaders to help you make smart investment decisions. I am Munir Barazi, your business analyst and host, and today I'm speaking with Harry Chu, the president and CEO of Arctic Fox Lithium, a Canadian junior exploration company that focuses on the acquisition and development of mineral properties rich in lithium and other rare metals, with highly prospective projects in James Bay, Canada. The company is listed on the Canadian Securities Exchange as AFX and on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange as O5K. Hello, Harry. Thank you for being here. Hi, good morning. Good morning. So I have a couple of questions regarding your latest findings. First, you have observed a large area of white S-type pegmatites. What does the presence of those S-type pegmatites mean? S-type pegmatites are essential for uh, developing hard rock lithium, not only in Canada, but worldwide. It's spodumene pegmatites, as we call them. You have to have spodumene in order to find hard rock lithium, and we found it on surface, so we're extremely excited on our, our Pontax property and feel very bullish in terms of what we want to do in the future on that property. So, you know, that, that's that's very significant for us. Great. And additionally, you have identified a lithium anomaly that is 5.3 times the average lithium concentration in the upper continental crust associated with niobium and cesium. Since the project is primarily a lithium project, does this mean you, you will also seek to find niobium and cesium deposits? What is the significance of those anomalies? Well, Cesium is one of the elements in the LCT uh, spodumene pegmatites, you know, so the lithium, tantalum, and cesium. So, so the cesium becomes a natural trace for us to identify where the lithium is. Plus, I mean, with the highly anomalous values we found in those rare earth elements, I mean, it, it makes sense for us to continue to, to, to explore not only the lithium, but also the other rare earth elements associated with lithium. And, and for, for us, that, that, that's exciting for us. I mean, we, we're no longer focus only on lithium, but we have other elements that we can kind of uh, go after and, and see if we could develop a rare earth lithium based company. So that's certainly a positive discovery. And another anomaly uh, is that um, is a lithium anomaly of 106 parts per million lithium, uh, which was discovered in a sample. Can you put this anomaly in perspective and tell us what it could mean for this project? Yeah, I mean, uh, 106 uh, uh, parts per million is extremely anomalous from, from a surface standpoint. I mean, lithium being one of the, if not the lightest element, one of the lightest elements on the periodic table, uh, tends to dissipate over thousands and thousands of years. So if you find, if it's on surface, you essentially most of it may, what we consider, evaporate out. So we know we're now exploring in the right right area, which is important because we've we've got traces of lithium not only lithium, but anomalous lithium on, on surface. So our plan is to kind of go below surface and see where or not the lithium exists below surface, which is exciting for us. And uh, Pontex is going to be a, a, a great opportunity for us to continue to explore. All of those are great data points. And on top of that, you've compiled the data from your LiDAR surveys. What do the models tell us so far about the Pontex lithium project and its potential? In the context of Pontex, the LIDAR reinforces what we can see on surface. So basically, there's substantial structure that continues under the surface, parallel to the pigmentite outcrops that we see trending east-west, and coincidentally, uh, in the same direction as Alcom's discovery, which is located only 10 to 13 kilometers away from us in the north. So from that perspective, we're extremely excited that uh, we're on trend. Uh, on the same belt as as Alcom's discovery, which will soon become a mine in the next uh, two to three years, as they're building the infrastructure for that as we speak. And and given um, what you see in the lithium market today, and what you know so far about this project, what excites you the most about working on this project? Um, I mean, this project has. I mean, we we had three projects. We had the Delta the Cannon Lake and the Pontex, but the Pontex uh, stood out simply because it was in close proximity to Alcom's uh, discovery. As well, it's 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 within, it's got infrastructure all in place. We 
we're right off the main road. We have power nearby. So it's an ideal location for exploring, whether it's exploring for lithium, rare earth, or any other metal. So we're we're very excited from that perspective. The cost savings that we'll generate from exploring our property will be significant. We don't have to worry about helicoptering any equipment in. Everything can be mobilized on 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 the ground, which which is a huge savings for us to explore as an early stage company. Those are good advantages. And what are the next milestones on this property? Um, our plan now is to go below surface. We've identified, you know, the, the areas we want to target uh, on surface. So, you know, lithium being one of the lightest elements, uh, you know, over thousands of years, it, it can it can dissipate or essentially evaporate. So, you know, the values you're going to get on the surface are not going to be that, that the same as you would get below surface. So our plan is to get somewhere because if we can get below surface by doing shallow drilling or or shallow blasting and then get samples somewhere between 30 to, to 50 meters below surface, we'll have a better understanding as to, you know, where to focus our, our, our program in, in the future. So I think, you know, it's important for us as a company to identify whether or not we have lithium values below surface and not just on surface. So, so that's our, our, our next plan. Absolutely. Uh, very exciting. And since you're here, I want to take this opportunity to ask you about your outlook uh, for the lithium market. Uh, what trends are you seeing? Um, I mean, obviously, early in the year, uh, we date back to beginning of January of uh, 2023. I mean, lithium value, lithium prices were, I think, somewhere like 18, 20,000. Now it's significantly lower. And we think it's, 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 there's a little hiccup and we believe you know, reading what we, we see in the economic trend, all the car manufacturers going to, 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 I guess, electric cars, uh, lithium and other rare earth elements associated with building cars are, are going to be, uh, strong in the future. We see that we, we think the term will be somewhere towards the second, third quarter of 2024 and moving forward. So I think, um, you know, it's, I believe the the current state of lithium is a, a, a just a little blimp. I mean, we we think that lithium will continue to to to, I mean, be here with us and for the future and and years to come. I think everything that's powered now uh, can convert into lithium. I mean, whether it's powering your home or powering plants, powering cars. I mean, those those are things that require uh, you know obviously lithium and other rare elements. It is quite critical, and, and an entire supply yeah. chain has been built all around it. So it's definitely good to to consider it as an addition to any investor's uh, portfolio. And and while we're on that topic, in three short statements, why do you think investors should consider Arctic Fox Lithium as a stock to watch and invest in? Um, I mean, first, of, of course, Location, location, location. That that's important. Okay, so we we are in the right location. We're in James Bay, which is uh, the mo most prolific lithium belt in Canada and soon to be in the world. We're in close proximity to Alcom's discovery, which will become a mine in ne next short time. They're already building the infrastructure to put that into production. So if we find anything on our our ground. You know, Alcom's facility would be a natural feeder for us, and more importantly, I mean, uh, exploration costs would be significantly cheaper because as I mentioned earlier, we're close to infrastructure. We have power, we're right off a main road. So those are all ideal conditions for, for us to explore and, and as a junior to, to see if we got anything on the ground. So, so I think uh, coupled with the location, as I mentioned earlier, and all the power and, and energy in place and road, I mean, Arctic Fox is, is, is you know, one step ahead of many other companies which have to rely on uh, helicopter transport and, and, and mobilization to, to explore their property. Yeah, there is the infrastructure advantage and yeah. also the anomalies you've discovered are certainly very encouraging on top of being in a very highly prospective location. Thank you so much for highlighting all of those. Harry Chu, the CEO and president of Arctic Fox Lithium, thank you so much for explaining uh, all of those updates and what they mean. And we look forward to hearing more from Arctic Fox Lithium very soon.